so here today I've got a couple of different barrels um, that I'm trying out. These are new from Shedville or Chedville, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And this particular one I've got on at the moment is the Umbra. Um, so changing a barrel is kind of an easy way of changing your sound without having to change your mouthpiece, reed, or the clarinet. And it's sometimes interesting to try out different barrels um, just to experiment with different sounds. Up until now, probably the most popular barrels that people were trying are the Bakun barrels, which of course you can also get here at Dorks. Um, but here we're just kind of introducing some of these new options that are available. So this Umbra um, is in hard rubber, um, and it, I think it adds kind of a slight depth to the sound. Um, it gives you a little bit kind of more richness, gives it a little bit more of the wider sound. Um, I'll just play you a little bit more on this, um, and then I'm gonna show you one of the other new barrels. So I mentioned before that it gives a little bit more depth to the sound, this barrel, um, and you particularly notice it at the, in the lower register of the instrument where it's, it has got that kind of more depth and warmth, it's kind of... So it's got that kind of lovely resonance at the bottom of the instrument. Um, but now I'm going to move on and I'm just going to play a little bit on the Casper barrel next. So this is now the Casper barrel, and you can see it's got this slightly strange shaping to it. Um, it's quite a nice shape actually, kind of with those curved at the side, although it does remind me a little bit of an egg cup, I must say. Um, but this particular barrel is actually made of an anodized metal. Um, you might expect that to give a kind of really bright sound, but actually I didn't find that particularly. Um, I found it's still kind of got a nice warm sound. It probably is a little bit brighter than the Umbra that I was trying. And it's also probably the most noticeable thing is it's slightly more resistant to blow down. Um, so you can, of course, as well use barrels to adjust the feel of the instrument, kind of how resistant it feels to play or how free blowing it is. And this one does kind of give quite a nice amount of resistance to it. Um, but anyway, there you've heard two of these new Chedville barrels. Um, it's a really good idea if you get a chance to pop down to Dorks and try them out. And of course, you can take them away on approval as well if you want.